Hi, I'm Dustin Abbott, and as a photographer, I do a lot of different things. It's all under the umbrella of photography. Obviously, you know that I do gear, uh, lens, camera reviews, and so I've, I've got gear for that to accommodate those kinds of things. And then, of course, I actually shoot for my business, and so I do some corporate work, I do event work, I do product photography, and then I also shoot portraits and weddings and fine art shots. I do a little bit of everything. And so, of course, I have yet to find one perfect camera bag for everything because the reality is, is there's a lot of different situations that I find myself in. And so I've got all kinds of camera bags. I've got a little Vanguard bag if I'm carrying a little mirrorless body with a lens attached and I want to travel light. And if I want to travel light with a DSLR or with a you know small to medium lens attached, I've got some low pro bags that I use for that. I've also got a larger one if I want to attach a telephoto instead. I've got sling bag if I want to bring along um, perhaps even a couple of bodies if I really jam them in there and or a couple of lenses and I want a little more flexibility and easy access and on top of that I've got slightly larger bags I've got backpacks so there's a lot of different bags for a lot of different situations but what about those situations where you need to bring along a lot of gear well, I've got a bag that I want to show you today, or really a backpack for that kind of situation. This is the kind of bag if um, you're going on safari or you're going on a photo shoot where you're not so much backpacking small amounts of gear, but you want to protect large amounts of gear and have it along conveniently. For me, this kind of bag is what I need when I'm going out to do a portrait shoot and I wanna bring along a lot of gear, but I don't wanna make multiple trips to and from the car, and I want my gear to be protected when I'm out in the field because sometimes even while doing a portrait session, a rainstorm comes through or <laughs> or I live, even a snowstorm. And so you have to be prepared for those kinds of situations. And so today I wanna to take a look at the Rugard Thunderhead 75. Now, this is obviously a big backpack to carry a lot of gear. And so there are a number of situations that this is the absolute wrong bag for. Too big, too bulky, and if you're going to backpack for a distance, you don't wanna carry a bag like this with the kind of gear that I would have packed in it. Now, of course, you could pack it light or maybe pack other necessities in there and it might become a good backpack for you under that circumstance. But note that even without anything in it, this uh, backpack comes in at uh, five and a half pounds or basically two and a half kilos. And it's big overall um, in terms of its exterior dimensions. It is uh, 20 and a half inches tall or uh, 52 centimeters. And um, then it's 13 inches wide or 33 centimeters. And then front to back, it is nine and a quarter inches or about 23 and a half centimeters. So to answer the question, yes, it will go through airline security and no, it won't fit under the seat in front of you, but yes, it should in most situations fit in the overhead bin. And so um, it's okay for those kinds of situations. And of course, lots of room inside, really a lot of room everywhere. Let's break it down. Number one, of course, I have got a tripod that is attached here. This isn't necessarily the best kind of tripod for carrying in this kind of situation. I would recommend a smaller carbon fiber tripod, but I threw this Manfrotto on just because I wanted to show having a tripod. Now, the cool thing is, is there's not only a pouch down here at the bottom, but there are one, two, three different straps to keep it nice and tight and secure, and on top of that, another Velcro strap at the bottom. And so, obviously, uh, a lot of protection to keep it as centered as possible. Let's just take a quick look here at, uh, obviously, as you're going to see, I've got a lot of gear inside of here, but because everything is so well padded, I mean, there is a lot of padding, padding on this bag, and as a result, it has not only good, strong, padded regular straps. It also has really thick padded lumbar support straps. And so that helps a lot if you um, secure that in place to help to distribute the weight to where it's not all riding on kind of one point. And so it's actually surprising, although I've got a ton of weight in here, it's surprising how well this actually will come along. Interestingly, there's even built into this lock, just a little thoughtful thing. There's a security whistle that's a part of that if you need that. Also, one thing that I appreciate is, you know, for sunglasses or for whatever, there's some D straps that are really uh, sturdy that are attached onto here. And actually just little hooks and straps everywhere for when you want to bring along gear. 
Now, one of the main things you're going to want to do if you're going on safari, for example, or carrying a lot of gear outdoors, is you want as much, um, you know, waterproofing as possible. And so the bag itself is, it's constructed in such a way where there's a lot of waterproofing. It has a 600D Oxford nylon um, exterior with water repellent coatings. Um, and the front is a 1680D ballistic nylon. And then on top of that, it does have a built-in rain cover at the back that can be accessed here at the bottom. Also in a nice feature, you know, if you're laying the bag flat, say if you've carried it to a place you're gonna do a portrait shoot or whatever, these big um, lumbar straps, you know, very, very thick and padded, they can actually tuck away out of your way inside of here. And so it just adds a little more padding here, but it helps the bag to lay nice and flat, as we'll see in a moment. One other thing before I wanna move, move on, though actually two things, really dense, thick padding here up along the shoulders to keep you from getting that soreness between the shoulder blades. Also right here, you'll see that there is a nice uh, trolley strap that if you're putting this on top of a, a luggage cart or whatever, you can actually run the, tall, the uh, trolley strap up through there or even the handle of your luggage to uh, keep it secure in that way. Let's continue looking along the outside. On the other side from the tripod side, there is another um, pouch with a ability to tighten or loosen that. As I said, lots of uh, loops along there. Really, if you were so desperate, you couldn't fit enough in here, you could always, into those uh, little loops, add on some uh, lens pouches or cases, and so a lot of room in that way. One very clever thing that I like is right in between the padding along the back and then the padding for the interior, there is a huge laptop um, space where you can put up to a 17 inch laptop. Obviously the one I've gotten there is much smaller, but it runs the whole um, length of the bag and uh, can be hidden away to where it really, unless you know that this pouch is here, it's really undetectable. So as we begin to look um, towards the front, um, there is a front pouch here that um, has got, it's got all kinds of like pockets everywhere, um, you know, just, Here's a, um, a little hook here if you want to clip something. A lot of times I'll clip on like my car keys when I'm traveling um, and I don't want to carry them in my pocket all the time, but I also don't want them to ever fall out. So I use it for things like that. Right now I don't have a lot in here. I've got a cleaning cloth, but a nice pouch there. And then in a clever thing, right along the front seam, there's an additional pouch here that is really perfectly sized for putting your passport in or perhaps your wallet, some kinds of documents. Along the outer flap here, there's also a very large space underneath. I have got an iPad Pro here um, with a keyboard attached to it, so uh, room for that. And I'll stand this up and so you can take a look inside with me. So obviously that big pouch I already re referenced, there's a space here for putting in your business card or some kind of information. And then a big enough pouch where really I could have fit my laptop there also. There's a zippered pouch here if you want to you know, put something inside there. And then just a number of other pouches along here, along with some with some flexibility if you want to add things in there. So lots and lots of little storage spaces. So there's a, um, there's a securing strap that can be attached here on the outside if you want to keep some extra protection there. I'm just going to give you a quick look inside before I lay this flat. And so you can see lots of gear inside of there. And in fact, I'm going to flip around here so you can give you a look at the inside of this. Once again, all of the space is used very wisely. Here there are three memory card slots that um, have got Velcro, and so they're going to keep cards secure. These pouches, um, there is a total of three of them that are zippered, and they're also, this is a kind of a, a plastic, and so it should provide some pretty decent um, uh, waterproofing inside there if you want to put documents or something like that in there. So let's take a look at everything that I've got inside. This bag is designed to be able to carry a DSLR and at least nine other lenses. And so um, it's got a configurable space here that you can put a lot of stuff into, up to and including a, you know, a 500 millimeter um, super telephoto attached to a body, lots of uh, depth there to do that. Right now, I don't have a 500 millimeter, but uh, I've got a lot of other stuff in here. So uh, one thing I do want to note is that, that I like is there are, sometimes when you've got a, um, a couple of, as I've got, a couple of bodies here in the center, you'll find that uh, the center point can kind of flare out. And so as a result, it can keep your 
middle divider from it kind of detaching and so it's not keeping uh, kind of some padding in between your two cameras. I like the fact that there are some, some securing straps that can keep some tension on that to keep that from happening. And so if I loose that, first thing I've got is a 5D Mark IV with a 100-400L Mark II attached. Lots of room for that. And then facing it in the center of the bag, I've got a Canon 60 full frame body with a 24-70 f2.8. And so obviously room to have you know, two good sized uh, cameras and lenses attached to that. I've got a couple of Vanguard 64 AF1 flashes. These are their largest um, speed light models. And so lots of room for those here in the back. I've got a Canon 100 millimeter F2.8 L. I have got a big Tamron 15 to 30 F2.8. I've got the new Canon 16 to 35 millimeter F2.8. I've got a Tamron 85mm f1.8 VC Prime, Tamron 45mm f1.8, Canon 35mm f2IS. And so, and I didn't even get close to really filling the bag up completely. I just wanted to give you a sampling of what you could put inside of there. So obviously, that's a lot of stuff. And so if you want to bring along a lot of gear, the Rugard Thunderhead 75 AW is a good bag for that. Now, just to give you a quick idea of the price, here's another advantage to the Rugard brand. It's obviously not as big a brand name as um, some of the big players, so they're trying to establish themselves, and as a result, you get a lot of value for the money. It's not necessarily cheap. The regular list price is $249 at B&H Photo. But as of today, and I think the sale ends today, but they come fairly routinely, the bag was on sale for $119.95, so 50% off. That's a lot of bag for $120 bucks. when you look at the comparative from the major brands would be running you three, four hundred plus. And so it's extremely durable, has a five-year warranty on it, so that gives you a chance to really do a lot of field testing while it's still under warranty. So overall, I think it provides a lot of value for the money. And I haven't used it a lot yet. I've only had it for a couple of weeks, but it's just the kind of bag I need for those situations I described. When I need to pack a lot of gear along, I'm not looking for necessarily a huge amount of portability, but more to be able to get everything in there, close it up, have it protected, and then you know backpack it to and from a vehicle, or backpack it from the vehicle out to the shooting location, and, and so on and so forth. And so overall, it seems to offer great value for the money. I'm Dustin Abbott, and uh, you can follow me on social media down below. I'll also throw a link there for so you can go and shop and take a look for the Rugard Thunderhead 75 bag. If you haven't already, please click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.